hey guys welcome back to another brand new video in today's video we are going to be talking about bitcoin okay we're going to be talking about more about bitcoin okay even though yes it's one of those days again where bitcoin is dipping okay but it seems like now guys okay right this very second seems like now it's going back up it's slowly going back up okay bitcoin and other old coins that are on the crypto market are slowly going back up but hey it, that doesn't mean anything it could dip right back down again because like i said it's really volatile this market okay bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general is really 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 volatile you know what i mean so i am still bullish with bitcoin okay i'm i'm it just triggers me okay like this is literally one of my pet peeves now okay like this is what literally one of my new pet peeves that i hate okay like i literally hate this okay a lot of people know that i am a cryptocurrency investor you know what i mean and when you know bitcoin and cryptocurrency is dipping and is crashing like what it's doing today you know what i mean um people message me and say what are you doing with crypto are you still holding are you still bullish are you bearish like have you forgotten that i am doing this for long term have you forgotten that i don't care about where bitcoin and cryptocurrency will be for short term you know what i mean for the short period of time i don't care where it will be you know what i mean i do not care if bitcoin is at 15 or twenty thousand dollars you know what i mean like let's just say like bitcoin gets to that level you know what i mean like i really wouldn't care you know what i mean like i am still bullish you know what i mean i don't care where bitcoin um will be in the next few months you know what i mean because like i said i'm doing this for long term i am a long-term investor okay i'm not a trader i don't day trade with it you know what i mean so i don't care about short term i care about long term you know what i mean and obviously guys bitcoin by 2030 is gonna reach millions of dollars i'm i'm saying it here right now okay i really do believe okay personally by 2030 2035 okay bitcoin is going to be trading at millions of dollars okay i'm saying it here right now okay so i am always bullish with bitcoin no matter what like you know what i mean i'm just really like people really think like people generally think i am bearish or i am panicking when there's this little crash like i see this as a little crash i just I, this is nothing to me like literally this is literally nothing to me you know what i mean like i'm literally like it's just so crazy how people literally has the audacity to message me and say what are you doing with crypto are you holding are you bearish like guys guys okay i am always bullish okay i am i am never panicking all right i am i am i am so bullish with bitcoin that i don't care where it's gonna be in a few months time you know what i mean if bitcoin's gonna be at like five thousand dollars just to say right i don't care like literally i wouldn't give a damn like i would be more happy honestly if it gets to five thousand dollars because i see that as opportunity to buy in more you know what i mean to accumulate more you know what i mean like it'll be stupid to not buy bitcoin at five thousand dollars you know what i mean but honestly guys i don't think bitcoin will ever reach 40 30 20 10 thousand dollars ever again okay that's just my own personal opinion you know what i mean but i'm always bullish with bitcoin i see bitcoin as the future you know what i mean i really do believe one day bitcoin is going to become global you guys have to understand something here bitcoin is really 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 scarce okay the supply limit for bitcoin is only 21 million okay only 21 million bitcoins that can be mined that is it no more no less okay only 21 million bitcoins that can exist in this world right <clears throat> that can be mined right officially you know over 19 million now okay over 19 million bitcoins have been mined and now less than 2 million bitcoins are still yet to be mined you know what i mean so if you really think about it guys there's what billions there's like over 7 billion people that live in this world you know what i mean and not everyone okay if you really think about it here now not everyone can own 
a Bitcoin, not even 1% of a Bitcoin. Okay. It's going to be really, really rare to own 1% of a Bitcoin, you know, maybe 20 years from now, you know what I mean? It's going to be really, really rare. So just imagine owning multiple Bitcoins. Imagine owning one Bitcoin, you know what I mean? Think about it, right? And I know I always repeat myself, you know what I mean? But it's true. Like really just think about it, guys. You know what I mean? Once people understand about Bitcoin, right? The demand, you know what I mean? The demand goes up, right? Once people start wanting Bitcoin, you know what I mean? But there's a, just a, such a supply limit of it, you know what I mean? There's only a limited supply of Bitcoins. Then that's when the price will go even higher. You know what I mean? <sighs> I just... People really think I am panicking. Like, I'm chilling, man. I'm not panicking at all, man. I am literally chilling. Like, I want a crash to happen, okay? Because that way I could buy in more. Because like I said, I am doing this for long term. You know what I mean? I am literally doing this for long term. I don't care about short term. Short term gains. I really don't care. You know what I mean? Like, it does. it's not changing my life. Like, what's five six hundred dollars gonna do with my life as of right now you know what i mean like i know a lot of people out there like to take profits i get that but personally for me guys i like to simply just to invest and hold my positions for long term you know what i mean because i'm not going to do with anything with that money anyway so i might as well just leave it in there you know what i mean and it could shoot even higher which it will you just have to really do your own research and you know invest in you know crypto coins right cryptocurrencies that are great investments for long term. You know what I mean? So that's why you guys should always, you know, do your research, right? And you should always invest um, a amount of money that you are comfortable losing, okay? Because like I said, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is really, really, really volatile. You know what I mean? And the thing is, guys, if you don't understand money, right, then you don't understand Bitcoin, okay? You, you just don't. You guys have to understand something here. Like, the government is literally printing money like a lot of money every single day okay like literally you know what i mean so i feel like bitcoin because <clears throat> we know how bitcoin is decentralized you know what i mean um it's decentralized right so we don't need no third party to transfer money you know what i mean to another person right we don't it's not controlled by the government right um, or anything like that, or a bank, you know what I mean, um, so it's, de it's decentralized, you know what I mean, and guys, I told you guys this before, I don't trust the government, okay, I really don't trust the government, I feel like they are hiding a lot of things from us, you know what I mean, like, I generally, like, that's just how I personally feel, you know what I mean, um, so guys, I feel like Bitcoin is the future, you know what I mean, um, and I feel like, you know, the bank is obviously going to start, you know, using, you know, like the technology that crypto has, you know what I mean? Like, for example, guys, here in Australia, right, um, there's a bank called Commonwealth Bank, right? And I am personally, that's what I use, you know what I mean? That's the bank I personally use here in Australia, right? There's Commonwealth Bank. And literally sometime last year, I believe in November or December, they announced that they will start you know, using the app so that people can, you know, start trading with cryptocurrency, like on the bank app, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think it has happened yet, you know what I mean? But that's just what they've been like saying, like there's rumors about that, you know what I mean? So it's just for an example right there, guys, like I feel like a lot of banks out there in the future, down in the future, will stop using cryptocurrency and pretty much cryptocurrency technology, you know what I mean? It could be like the blockchain or something like that, you know what I mean? That's just personally where i see it right in the future i really do believe that bitcoin will become global right and i feel like once people understand more about bitcoin and how it works on all that right and why we need bitcoin in this world you know, right because bitcoin is literally making this world a better place like it, it really is you know what i mean um i feel like the price is just gonna go up right like once people understand about bitcoin and all that and once people come more um f like more you know what i mean like they feel like they'll, they'll need um to invest into bitcoin you know what i mean like things like that you know what i mean so that's why i believe bitcoin is the future right a lot of people right now don't believe in it but for like you know three five ten years from now 
people will understand where Bitcoin is heading, right? So be excited, guys, okay? For the Bitcoin holders out there, be excited where Bitcoin is heading, okay? Do not sell any of your Bitcoins, please. Do not sell any of your Bitcoins, okay? And if you do sell, just know you're going to be selling it to someone that's smarter than you, right? And once you sell it to that person, they eventually, they're most likely not going to sell ever again, right? And guys, this is why I like Bitcoin. Bitcoin's transactions, right? We know Bitcoin because of its transactions. You know what I mean? Like, it's literally just peer-to-peer. -peer, you know what I mean? Like, a person to another person. You know what I mean? Like, if I wanted to transfer you money with Bitcoin, I could do it straight away. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, right? Like, you could literally be anywhere in the world. You could be in Africa, America, China. You know what I mean? Like, anywhere, right? <clears throat> And I could literally send you money um, with Bitcoin instantly, right? Now, if we do that with a bank, they will it will most likely not work. Like, it will most likely be declined. It will take literally several minutes or even hours or days, and it could eventually be declined, you know what I mean? So that's why I believe we need Bitcoin in this world, you know what I mean, with money transactions and all that, right? It's just faster, you know what I mean? Like, the blockchain technology and all that you know what i mean like we need it right it's just so much easier and faster and more simple you know what i mean so that's why i see bitcoin as my own bank account now you know what i mean like i just, i literally see bitcoin as my own savings account right like i'm literally like invested in bitcoin and i also think of it as my own bank you know what i mean like i'm just leaving money in there and obviously it's a hedge against inflation because yes it's always eventually going to be going up. Even though, yes, it's volatile. It's going up and down. This crashes. But eventually, guys, it's always going to get back up. You know what I mean? So that's why I believe we need Bitcoin in this world. And not a lot of people realize this. But once they do realize it, then the demand will go up, right? And then people will be, you know, buying more Bitcoins, all right? And there'll be new investors that are in, are in that will start investing into Bitcoin, right? And then the price will obviously shoot up because like I said, there's only a limited supply of Bitcoins, 21 million, that's it. No more, no less. So guys, if you guys are Bitcoin holders, be excited. Like I said, do not sell any of your Bitcoins. Hodl, okay, hold on for dear life, do not sell for the next 10 years and i promise you guys you guys will become a millionaire trust me but guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here i hope you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up subscribe if you guys haven't already and i'll catch you guys in my next video have a good day